So I bought these four very dirty PS4 consoles from Goodwill, uh, along with a bunch of controllers and games. And in this video, I'll unbox everything, test everything out, and see if Goodwill scammed us this time. So here in this first box from Goodwill, I think we have two PS4s, like 16 games. I think I paid about around $300 for all of this. Uh, but let's go ahead and open it up and see what they sent us. All right, so here we go. And of course we have packing peanuts. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I do not like packing peanuts, man. They're just, they're so messy. Sorry guys, this box is so large, I can barely fit it on the screen, but we got some stuff in here. Interesting how they just, oh nice. So they just shoved the uh, PS4 controllers in a bag and tossed it in the corner. No bubble, no bubble wrap at all. That's, that's awesome to see. Hopefully we get lucky and they still work. So we have everything out now. Got two PS4s, they're actually bubble wrapped up pretty nicely as far as I can tell. And then as you saw, we have like four controllers here, all just jammed in a uh, Ziploc bag, which is awesome to see. A couple of random cables, also a WWE 2K19 something. I don't know what's in there, that's interesting. Uh, we also have a stack of games. Most of these are sports games, which are worth like $2. Oh, awesome. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's some sort of WWE 2K20 uh, special edition thing. But of course they jammed it in there and the box right there is now bent. That's that's awesome to see. But let's go ahead and open up these games and see what's actually in here. So we have our first little bundle of games here and I already got found a little broken piece. 2K17 worth nothing. Chariot, never heard of that. Uh, 2K18, FIFA 17, NBA 2K17, another, two copies of NBA 2K17, nice. Uh, Call of Duty World War II, MLB 15. All right, on to the next stack of games and we have Last of Us Remastered, pretty good game. Rocket League Ultimate Edition. Nice. I'm not sure. That might be, might be worth something. Uh, demo disc for PSVR. That's not worth much because it's you can get it for free. Firefighters is a simulator. <laughs> so th there's a ton of simulators now, guys, but I did not know there was one for firefighters. That's interesting. We got Spider-Man. Great game. Uh, Street Fighter Five, and then MLB 17, the show. So we got a few games in there that are worth like a, a, a few bucks, but still nothing crazy. And now here's the one that I'm really interested in. Uh, some sort of WWE. 2K20 Smackdown, it appears to be brand new, uh, maybe not. It looked like it was brand new, except that this part over here is ripped open, so maybe it's not brand new. Yeah, it's not brand new, never mind. Somebody left half the plastic wrap off, or on, and then tore off the end, that's kind of odd. Uh, let's see what's in here though. So we got some sort of 2K20 like plaque thing, kind of random. I don't know, there's some other stuff in there, I don't really care, honestly. Um, not sure what's in this thing though, this looks interesting. So in here we have a Ric Flair, like a Ric Flair plaque. What in the world? This is, that's actually pretty, that's pretty funny. I'm gonna keep that, that's a, that's kind of funny, but uh, let's move on to the controllers now. So controllers up next, like you saw, they're in this plastic bag. Uh, hopefully they're not too banged up. And it is from Goodwill, most stuff is in pretty bad condition. But let's just go ahead and take a look. So first of all, this one right here, all the buttons feel nice, except that the joysticks are just like destroyed. The rubber's all gone. This one, um, a bit more intact, not too terrible. Uh, once you clean it up, it's actually not too bad. It's got a little rip on the joystick joystick there, but other than that, it's not, not terrible. It just needs to be cleaned up. This one right here, kind of same deal. The joysticks are actually still intact, except that one's got some rubber coming off, um, but it's just, it's just very dirty. And then this one right here probably looks the best. It is a bit dirty though, it needs to be cleaned up some, but it's actually not not too bad. And this is, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of camo, but this camo controller, I'm a, I'm a fan of this, it looks pretty cool. Thanks to EcoFlow for sponsoring today's video. So here I have the EcoFlow River 2, and if I had to describe this thing in five words, I'd call it a super small portable power station, which is a great description, right? I just came up with that myself. But essentially it's a power station you take on the go that you can charge your phone, power an appliance, power your TV and gaming console, uh, pretty much really anything you want to. Basically this thing has 300 watts of power and if you use X-Boost you can get up to 600 watts. Uh, so we're gonna try it out and push it to its limits with these gaming consoles. So now we're gonna come over to the EcoFlow River 2, turn this bad boy on. Let's go ahead and start plugging in the PS3s and PS4s and just see what happens. So PS3 number one is plugged in. We'll go ahead and turn it on and see what we're up to. So we were at about 40 watts with the TV on but the TV turned itself off and now we're at the PS3. So PS3 is drawing about 50 watts on the boot up. So PS3 number two, come down here. We should be at about 100 watts. Yep, we're about 114, makes sense. And like I said earlier, we have 300 watts of power on this bad boy right here. We can get up to 600 watts temporarily through X-Boost, but like I said, temporarily. So we don't wanna go above 300 watts for too long, but we're gonna see how, see if we can push this thing to its limits. So PS3 number three, got the red light, turn it on, we got a green light. Let's go over to PS4 number one now. Let's see if I can plug this thing in. 
And with the PS4 on, we are now at 245, 249. We're getting pretty close. PS4 Pro will probably put us over the limit. And once we do that, the unit will probably shut off itself just because uh, it you know, wants to protect itself and not be above 300 watts for too long. So let's go ahead and turn on the PS4 Pro. We are now at 354 watts. So we're really pushing this thing to its limit. So HDMI on, and as you can see, we now have we have life on our PS4 Pro and we're at 377 watts. So it's not long before this thing is probably gonna shut off. And uh, we're, in, we're in X boost mode right now, X games mode guys. Oh my God, he on X games mode. Let's see how long this lasts for. All right guys, so we just hit the limit. We now have zero watts output because it protects itself. We officially can power three PS3s, two PS4s, and a TV through this thing. So now that we're done with our little experiment, let's take a look, closer look at some of the tech specs of this device. So if we zoom in here, you got DC out, you got AC out, you've got a few USB ports where you can charge up your phone or whatever else. If we swing over to the back, which by the way, this thing is super light, only 7.7 .7 pounds, but you can charge up via AC power. You can also charge up via DC power and you can even charge up via solar, which I'll show on the screen right now, but plug in your solar panels, throw it in some sunlight and boom, you got power in about three hours. But the most efficient way to power it is via AC power. You plug it into your wall, you're from zero to 100% in 60 minutes. That's 60 minutes, guys, that's crazy. So now that we're looking at our app, you can see we have 99 hours available because I have nothing plugged in right now, but you can see your input power, your output power, you can turn off your AC power, turn on your AC power, whatever you want to do, uh, cool features, and it's all, all wireless. And by the way, this thing is rated for 3,000 life cycles, which means you could power this thing from 100% down to 0% every single day for 10 years. So if you want to power your PS3 on the go, PS4 on the go, or really anything on the go, check out the EcoFlow Rover 2 down below. Uh, I also have a discount code down below for 8% off, so check that out and uh, make sure to power your dreams. So next up, let's open these PS4s, see what they sent us. Um, hoping they're not too dirty. If I remember correctly from the pictures, they're they're pretty dirty, but uh, let's take a look. All right, so here we go, PS4 number one, and it's actually not too terrible. Uh, it's definitely definitely scratched up, got some scuffs, but it's that, that's about how every PS4 is, just because this, this glossy part is always destroyed. Uh, the front here, a bit dusty, but honestly not too terrible. On the bottom here, we do have all our rubber feet, which is <laughs> awesome to see as usual. And then here on the back, pretty dusty, but actually does not look too terrible. It's got both the warranty steels still there. And uh, yeah, this thing actually does not look as bad as I thought it would. Uh, let's take a look at the second one. All right, so second PS4, and this one actually looks really nice. This is the uh, slightly newer version of the original PS4 that does not have a glossy part right here, which I'm a big fan of. Glossy, uh, glossy looks nice, but like it just scratches up so easily. I hate it. Uh, but this one looks pretty nice. Looking at the front. Uh, actually looks pretty good as well down here on the bottom got all three of our rubber feet and then here on the back uh, actually looks pretty solid as well got both warranty seals and just taking a quick look at the ports the ports uh, i think look okay um, sometimes you get like damaged hdmi ports and stuff but uh, just a quick glance they, they look pretty pretty good so on to box number two here and i believe there's just one ps4 in here either a slim or an original can't remember to be honest uh, honestly i can't even find my uh my goodwill order history for this stuff because it's so far back so we're we're all gonna be surprised here so you can barely see but inside the box there's a ton of bubble wrap we'll go ahead and pull out whatever's in here and see what they sent us so it does appear to be a ps4 here which is good to see it kind of looks like a uh it looks like an original one i thought it looked like a pro for a second i thought i saw three of those levels but no it's just two all right guys they wrapped this thing up good but oh does it look nasty i bet there's some good old cockroaches in here all right so top here is not terrible i mean there's a ton of scratches on it a little bit dirty. The front is uh, not great. Uh, it actually looks better on camera than it does to me. There's a lot of dust and dirt kind of just in the front crevices and stuff. Now here on the bottom, we do have all the rubber feet. Bottom looks okay. But then looking on the sides, you got a ton of like dirt and dust in those, the, just the sides, man. And then here on the back, not quite as bad as I thought it would be at first glance. Uh, it is pretty dirty though. And like, I can guarantee you one of these consoles has cockroaches in it. But yeah, this console actually doesn't look quite as terrible as I thought I did at first. But let's go ahead and open up a third box, which I think has another PS4, probably a PS4 Slim, but uh, we're about to find out. All right, so here we go. Got some of this stuff here. And oh, this is actually the worst packing job I have seen from Goodwill. It's just a PS4 stuffed in, no bubble wrap at all. All they used is this, this stuff right here. That's amazing. So first things first, it is a PS4, which is good to see. And oh, that's, that's not good. All right, so... <laughs> As soon as I try to pick it up, the top starts flexing and opening up. Yeah, that's not a great sign. Oh, there it goes. It just clicks back into place. What do we have over here? We got a little sticker that says, uh, it has a number on it. I was going <laughs> to, I thought I was going to say broken or something on it, but 
Um, oh, that's interesting. I don't know what that is here on the back. It actually doesn't look too bad. First glance, the ports don't look bad. Top, I mean, oh, it doesn't look terrible. It's got a lot of a lot of dust and dirt in the front. And obviously the issue with the uh, top coming up uh, was kind of odd. But other than that, it actually does not look too terrible. Maybe it works. Hopefully it works. But uh, I don't I don't know. Let's go ahead and plug all these PS4s in and see if any of them actually work. So I finally have PS4 number one on. I had some technical difficulties with my uh, cameras. And here we are. We are on the P first PS4. It is booted up and working so far. But I got to sign into the PlayStation Network to use any of this person's stuff. So... Uh, I guess that's the first thing to note. This person actually did leave their profile on here. It's always interesting seeing, and you know, this person's got Apex Legends, Rocket League, uh, PS5 Remote Play, so it's not like that old of a PS4. Like they've, they've used it within the last few years because it has PS5 Remote Play. Let's we'll see if there's any games in here. Oh, and there is a game. Let's go, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. That's actually like a, that's a solid game to get for free. Okay, okay, let's see if that works. Was that on the screen somewhere? Yeah, here we go. So we got Call of Duty Black Ops 3 right here. Uh, let's see if it actually boots up and plays. Racing Pros, never heard of that. There it is. All right, let's try to start it up. So far, so good on this PS4. You know, obviously, I don't I don't try out every little thing on these consoles, but I try out the main things, like booting them up. Does the controller work? Does it play dang, Does it play games? Does it um, connect to the internet? That sort of thing. So, I mean, like, so far, so good. As you can see, we are playing the game. I'm not going to play it too long, but you can see it's booting up now, so... I would assume it's gonna play the game just fine. And uh, this Campbell controller is pretty nice right here. Um, but I also wanna try out a couple other profiles here because I saw there were a couple other profiles. Um, let's go ahead and check those out. All right, so if you switch user, we got user one, which is what I'm on right now. We got Itsy Girl <laughs> 13 and Matt S. Let's try Itsy Girl. Oh, and they have a login passcode. I can't log into this person's profile without knowing their passcode, which I don't know what their passcode is. So whatever, uh, let's try Matt S, see if he's got a passcode. And he does not. Nice. All right. He's got a God of War theme. I guess I'll try out the internet real quick. So just to keep it simple, I connected via LAN cable, which my speeds are really slow right now. 47 and 2. I don't know. That's weird. But we are connected to the internet. I'll, I'll check on that later. That's not a big deal right now. PS4 number one uh, seems to work. This controller is good. We'll try out the next controller on the next PS4. Um, but let's go ahead and turn this one on and or turn this one off and try the next one. So PS4 number two. Let's see if we get lucky here. Let's go ahead and boot it up. And we have a blue light so far. Let's see if we have a game in here. Oh, we do have a game. <laughs> Dude, I love when there's free games in here. We've got Call of Duty World War II, which is actually um, solid. Uh, that might be the one that was supposed to be in one of the other cases. Let me let me check real quick. So we had this World War II case right here. And nope, oh, this has another copy here too. So we got an extra copy of World War II. So nice, we got two free games so far. Always good to see. So as you can see, this PS4 did boot up. Let me go ahead and plug in a controller. We'll try out the blue controller, see if it works. These micro USB cables that were included are absolute crap this one just does not even work i need to throw that one away and this one right here is pretty loose as well but it connects kind of all right so as you can see we are connected now so yeah as you can see this one is booting up uh we got two guys on here jeremy c and jeremy coltran always funny when you got these uh these consoles already logged in i mean the only thing like it's a good thing that put the sony makes you sign in every once in a while because otherwise i'd be able to access this guy's all this guy's stuff uh, so luckily it makes you sign in. That's a, that's a good security feature. And I'll see if we can, if we can connect to the internet. All right. So we're all connected now. Obviously we are not signed in because I don't know this guy's signing info. Well, let's just kind of check out what he was playing. So, uh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> There's literally nothing here. Check the library. We have one game, the playroom. Nice. So this guy, oh, here, here we go. We got some stuff purchased, but not actually downloaded right now. Like Call of Duty Black Ops 4, basically all the CODs and MLB 16 and Star Wars. So not much. Let's try out this other guy's profile here. So we're on the other profile now, and it's about the same. Pretty barren. Nothing on here. Literally nothing purchased. Um, but let's go ahead and try out a game. We'll try out the game that came on this console, which was Call of Duty World War II. So I'm not going to go too crazy here, but as you can see, the game is installing. Um, that's probably good enough for our test. Ideally, obviously, you want to boot up the game, install it, and then boot up the game and play it for a little bit to see if it keeps working. But I'm sure the disk drive is fine. Let's go ahead and boot that out or eject it. Why, I, why did I say boot it out? And yeah, I mean, this console seems to work as well. Obviously, I've not been testing Wi-Fi. I'm just using a LAN cable, which makes it a little bit easier for testing. So on to console number three, and I'd say this is where things get a little bit tricky because consoles three and four were pretty dirty. Didn't look so great. But let's go ahead and boot up this this uh, third one and see if it works. This one is pretty scratched up and dirty. 
Um, the first one smelled like you could smell out the fans. It smells a little bit like just kind of old dust and dirt. But we'll see if console number three boots up. Let me try out and see if there's a disc in here. Okay, no disc in there. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's try out the next controller. Got another black one here. We'll try this one out, see if it connects up and works. So first thing I'm noticing is not I'm not seeing anything on the screen. That could be an issue with my HDMI splitter. Let me mess with it real quick. All right, so bad news. Um, unfortunately, the HDMI port on this thing is damaged. Uh, you know, I messed around with this PS4 for a while, tried to get into safe mode for a while, tried some various things. I finally took a closer look at the HDMI port in the back and noticed it was kind of bending down. I'll show some photos on the screen right now. It's kind of hard to tell, but on a normal PS4, your HDMI cable should be coming straight out of the back. This one is kind of bent down like somebody somehow bent the whole port. Um, I don't know. So I think it probably needs an HDMI port uh, replacement. So unfortunately, I cannot connect this one on the screen right now. Let's try out PS4 number four now. So I have PS4 number four plugged in now, and this is the one I'm most skeptical about, uh, just because it looks pretty dirty, and you know the uh, top part was coming, kind of coming loose when I opened it up. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's see if it turns on. All right, that's a good sign. We got life, and I'm gonna try out this black controller again because I couldn't try it out on the last one. Let's go ahead and try to eject and see if there's a game in here. Nope, no game. All right, so we got lucky on the first two. We had some some free games. Nothing on these last two, and so far we do not have a signal on the TV which is uh, obviously not a good sign. Okay, cool, so it is on the screen. Um, usually I'm plugged into my Elgato, I had to swap it straight into my TV and it's currently checking the system storage status. I'll try to show you on the camera. So I missed it, but as you can see, it is booting up now and hopefully we can connect to my Elgato now. And I mean, it's it's got life. Hopefully it uh, works all the way though. All right, so we're connected up now. Let's try out this controller. This controller is very like the, the power button, not the power button, but the uh, middle button is sticky. It's just a pretty dirty controller gonna have to definitely wash my hands good after these consoles like I oh here we go got a got a user here Grace Williams oh uh, we got some games here and this almost looks like I can play this game that's odd I'm not I don't think I was logged into this person's profile or anything okay this this game is working that's that's a bit odd I could have sworn digital games you had to be logged in maybe I am logged into this person's profile hey Danny the editor here resident Sony pony of Jacob R productions I just wanted to jump in here and explain that the reason he can play these games on this ps4 even if it's offline is because this is the primary ps4 for whoever's account this is if you didn't know you can set one ps4 or ps5 on your PlayStation account as the primary ps4 which allows you to play all of your games offline whenever you want no, can't connect to the server. Uh, that's weird. So I'm testing out the uh, internet now. The internet is working. We got PS5 remote play. So I, I guess two of these consoles, it looks like people had PS4s and then upgraded to a PS5. And then I guess just dumped the PS4 at Goodwill. I don't know, without even uh, resetting their console. It's a weird situation. I, you, would, you would think people would know that they need to reset their console before they sell it or get rid of it, but I guess not. Um, we got some games here this person has purchased. And we got some games here that they've played. And like I said, I tried to eject. No free game, but let's try out one of the games, one of the free games we got, and just see if a disc works. I'm assuming it probably will. I've gotten this far, and here we go. It's uh, it's downloading now. So one thing I just noticed I can do is if I go to the notifications, click on that, I can see when the last notifications were. So back in June of 2021, it looks like the, the last time this person played their PS4. I guess that's when they got a PS5. Just It's just interesting to check these things out. So I decided to put in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 because it installs a whole lot quicker. So let me just uh, try to boot this up now. All right, so clearly, as you can see, the game is working. I actually have not tried the other black PS4 controller. I kind of did, but it was having issues connecting earlier, and I think it was because of the USB cable. So let me plug that in real quick and just make sure it works. So this controller is working. Uh, it's actually the version 2 uh, controller as well. It's got the light bar on the front. But I mean, 3 for 4 working is pretty good from Goodwill. Um, again, I, Shop Goodwill is, is kind of a scam. I mean, we got lucky here, but most of the time when you buy stuff there, it's almost like they just dump all their broken stuff and call it untested and by the way i'll probably set up a whatnot auction for all these ps4s i'll have a link down below if you want to check it out make sure to bookmark the stream and yeah thanks for watching guys and have a great day